Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jim Reed. In the last episode, we discussed balancing the airplane. In this episode, we're going to discuss an associated topic, which is trimming the airplane, which is a couple small adjustments the pilot can make to get the airplane to handle exactly how he likes it. As we learned, there's a misalignment between the lift produced by the wing and the weight of the aircraft, or the CG point. This misalignment must be counteracted by a downforce produced by the tail. In order to adjust the amount of downforce, there's a small movable surface at the end of the elevator called a trim tab. This trim tab affects where the elevator flies naturally in a hands-off position. The position of the trim tab is adjustable from this switch in the cockpit. It needs to be adjustable because as the aircraft goes faster, there's more lift produced by the wing and more downforce is required by the tail. If you trim it for a faster speed, the trailing edge of the trim tab goes up a bit, which forces the trailing edge of the elevator down a bit, which creates more downforce. Another part of trimming the airplane is the adjustment of the roll behavior. This is accomplished by fine-tuning these things, called spades. I found the pilot of this race airplane, Christian Bolton, an expert in setting up spades. Christian, can you please explain to us a bit about how the spades work? Yeah, I will do my best. Thanks. Well, as you can see here, uh, this is the aileron of my race plane. As you can see, it's really, really big. So every time I move the, my stick in order to make the plane turn, there is a lot of, lot of drag pushing against my control reflection. In order to control that and to make that lighter for me, we have what we call a space. Well, as we can see here, every time the air comes into this surface, it will help me to deflect the arrows to make it lighter because the air is hitting the top of the exactly. surface. Yeah. And I understand there's two basic adjustments, the position of the spade fore and aft, and then the pitch angle of the spade. How do those affect how the aircraft handles? If we take the spade and we move it forward, uh, what is going to happen, actually, is the aliens will be really, really light. And if we move it backwards, it will start to get more heavy in the fin. So uh -huh. on the other hand, if we change the angle of attack of the spade, for example, if we increase the angle of attack, it will be lighter as well and it will help me to, to get the center of the aerodromes. Okay. That's very, very important, especially every time I cross a gate to don't get an incorrect level pass uh, in the track. Thank you very much, Christian, for taking the time to chat with us this morning. My pleasure. Trimming the airplane is something that is very specific to each pilot, and they expend a lot of effort to get the airplane exactly how they want it. 